Hey, what's up? I'm coming at you with another video. Um, this is about escaping wage slavery with Shopify dropshipping. So, you know, I'm gonna, cause I just started this. This is all new to me. So I'm, I'm kind of in the testing phase and, you know, I got the store open. Um, I've made a lot of mistakes already. Uh, hasn't been going too well, but I'm still trying. Still learning a lot, still taking in a lot of information, but, you know, I want to start the message off by, you know, in order to escape wage slavery, you know, quit that nine to five, you're going to have to try things, you're going to have to fail, you know, you may be able to get out of your job for a little while and you might have to go back to work, you know, to, to build up some more capital to invest in yourself to invest in your businesses and that's just the name of the game you know nobody can you know it's hard to just quit your job and you know start a business a lot of people will make it seem like you know it's just easy like you know a lot of the videos i watch on um shopify drop shipping it's like oh start i made two thousand dollars in one day and you know, there's a lot of hidden costs in there that, you know, a lot of people, I mean, they kind of go over it, but they don't, they're not very specific about it. So I'm just going to tell you some things that I learned about Shopify dropshipping as I'm in the process of doing it. Um, first of all, it's not, you're not just going to open up a store and start making money and not put any money into it and just you know pick a bunch of products and put it on this site and then run some facebook ads and then become a, a millionaire or start making ten thousand dollars in a month like that's very unlikely unless if you you know have a product that you're for sure about and you have like ten thousand dollars to put into it so, um, you know, one thing, one thing I've learned is, you know, learn, learn first. You know, I'd watched a couple of videos and thought I knew what I was doing and just started, you know, I was like, oh, I know I could pick a product now and go in there and, you know, make money. But it's, it's really not like that. And the, the product that I picked wasn't necessarily a bad product, but um, I think I gave up on it too fast and then I wanted to switch it up and do something completely different. And I think I gave up on it too fast because I didn't understand how Facebook ads worked. So I had it up for like two days. I think I got like 20 clicks or something, like two comments. And I guess that's pretty good for like four days or something like that. Um, no. Um, so, you know, I gave up on that because I was like, you know, three days, 20 clicks, no sales, already spent. Actually, it was, I probably had it up for five or six days because I ended up spending like $60 on um, Facebook ads and didn't make any money really. Um, but I got a good amount of clicks though. Um, so yeah, basically what I want to get at is if you have a winning product and you think and you believe in it, you know, don't give up on it too early because like my problem was, is I was listening to a lot of other, um, Shopify drop shippers and they're like, Oh, I'm making a thousand dollars in a week. And you know, I'm thinking like, Oh, it's been four or five days and I haven't got any sales like this product must suck or my you know I changed up my ad once or twice within those days and I was like this product must suck and now that I'm looking back at it I've seen somebody else with a similar product that it was actually working for um but yeah like I was saying you know that's one thing don't think that it's free I mean you need a hundred dollars at least just to pretty much set up the website, just to get all the stuff that you need on there. And then um, secondly, these people that, 
they're like, oh, we did a thousand in sales in one day. First of all, like the thing you got to realize is the there's a thing called pixels in there, which basically the pixels is adding up data pretty much collecting data from the people who are clicking from the people who are getting impressions from how uh, shoppers engage in the ads and pretty much like you're spending a week or two just building up that data so Facebook can process better who's going to buy your product so I didn't I didn't know that at first so you know after five or six days I'm getting impressions and clicks and no sales and you know, I'm not realizing that it's building up data. So I'm like, oh, this is a failed project. So I moved on from that. Um, so when somebody says they're getting a thousand dollars a day in sales, they could be spending five hundred dollars a day in ads. So if you think about five hundred dollars a day in ads and you pretty much, you know, Okay, so you have a thousand dollar day. Your product is costing you four hundred dollars. So, and you spend five hundred dollars a day in ads. You do a thousand dollars a day in sales. That's a hundred dollars. Plus, at the end of the month, you got to pay thirty dollars for the subscription to Shopify, plus your domain name. Um, you know, so all these things add up. So, you know, you could be making 10000 a month in sales, but that could be, you know, $1,500 profit, you know, or less. Um, but I think once you get the pixels set up to where, you know, it's, it's tracking everything correctly, then you can spend less on ads and get the same amount of volume. But um, this was all stuff I had to learn, um, and I'm still learning a lot, so... Yeah, if you have any information, if you're a Shopify dropshipper and you're coming across this channel, go ahead, leave a comment below and, and give me any advice you can. And I'd be glad to take your advice because I'm just starting on this. And basically, this is one of the ways that I want to use to escape wage slavery. And this is one of the things I was talking about, basically, is that, you know, you you have to have that startup money, you know what I'm saying? You have to have, you have to put yourself in a situation where you can spend money. You know, I spent $70 in a week, basically, on running ads and got no results. So, you know, escaping your job, quitting your job is not easy. It's not go start a business and, and rainbows and unicorns, like, you're going to lose money, you're going to make mistakes, and, you know, you can go through savings really quick, and you'll be right back at that job, but the point is, is that you, you need, because I have other investments, I have, you know, stocks, I have cryptocurrency, I have this business I'm working on, I'm trying to grow this YouTube channel, so, you know, I keep it, I try to keep it diversified, so that, you know, if one thing doesn't work out, hopefully something else does, um, and if not, you know, I'll go back to work, make some more money, um, and, you know, keep on slowly, you know, progressing in all the businesses and investments that I have. So, you know, you can't put yourself in this position if you are in debt, if you don't have any capital, if, if you're starting out and you don't have money and you don't have a job, your first step is probably to get a job. Like you it's going to be very hard to make any kind of income if you, you know, what are you, what are you going to do to provide value if you don't have income? You know, how are you going to promote yourself? How are you going to put out products? How are you going to create products? How are you going to live? How are you going to feed yourself? How are you going to, you know, so you have to start somewhere. And, you know, the idea is to not get caught in the system, to not get caught as a wage slave and that's by not getting into debt not you know put your money into things that make money and not things that take money away you know um rich dad poor dad is a good book for you to read if you're not familiar with 
um, assets and liabilities. I go over a lot of information in my book, The 925 Escape Plan. I'll leave the link in the description below. But if you're starting off, if you don't have a job or if you're in a job and you have debt, um, you know, get my book, get Rich Dad, Poor Dad, get any financial help you can get and start reading and start learning how to create a surplus in your income to where you're making more than you're spending and to where you can put some aside and save some and your first mission is really going to be to have three to six months living expenses um, put to the side so that if you do have a great business opportunity you can leave your job and try this out and if it doesn't work you can get another job later um, but yeah, I explain that in my book. You can read about it more in the book. But as far as Shopify dropshipping goes, it's been um, a tough week. Um, and to be honest, it's pretty depressing sometimes because you're like, man, I was really counting on this. I really thought it was going to be um, not easy, but easier than what it has been. But I'm still trying. I'm going to keep going. And... Um, you know, I, I think what I'm going to do is I was, I was doing $5 um, ad sets. I think I'm going to raise it to 10 or um, just to get a, a quick jump start. I might even do like $50 a day for like two or three days. Um, but I want to wait to see like a good amount of click range. And then once I see it's getting a good amount of clicks, then I'll raise it to like the $50 a day just so it can... Uh, collect that data a lot quicker and start pushing out those ads a lot quicker and then um, you know hopefully that gets a sell and you know once I get a sell then I'll really start boosting up the amount of ad ad money um, I spend daily yeah because you know I mean once that and once the data is collected then pretty much my plan is to um, create more items that have the same data because I don't know how the data works like if you are selling laptops and the pixels collecting that data from laptops and then you go and sell um, let's just say dog food <laughs> you know something random like that you know I don't think the pixel will be, operate the same so I think if you started like with the dog food the pixels would have to you know do the whole process all over again and you know so pretty much I, I'm guessing that's why people say stick with your niche and you know to build that data and then that way you always have that data there to push out new products in so uh, hopefully this helped you guys uh, comment below let me know if you have any questions um, I'm glad to answer any question. It doesn't have to be related to Shopify dropshipping. Any financial questions, any life questions. I read a lot of books, uh, a lot of self-help. Um, I'm really into psychology, suffering from depression uh, in the past. You know, a lot of addictions. And, you know, I've been through a lot and I've overcame a lot. So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below. Thank you for watching so much.